Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Vakrangi Limited Q4 and full year FY 2022 earnings conference call. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Dinesh Nandwana, Managing Director and Group CEO. Thank you and over to you, sir. Good day, dear ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to greet you all once again on behalf of our Board of Directors and Senior Management. We begin by thanking all of you for having spare time in joining us here today to discuss our fourth quarter and full year earnings for the financial year 2022. Today we have emerged as the go-to-market platform for the rural India for our various business verticals, including the new age fintech and digital platform. We are building India's largest class mile distribution platform and emerging as the physical plus digital ecosystem with a pan India presence. Today, we have more than 22,042 outlets spread across 32 states 564 districts and 5,510 postal codes. Our 84% outlet are present in deep rural TA426 locations. This kind of presence makes us the partner of choice for any new business partners who wish to make their products public services available in rural India. During the quarter, we have launched pilot for key services such as online opening of DMAT and trading account as well as total healthcare services across 3,500 and 1,000 outlets respectively. The same were also launched on our digital platform of Bharat EV mobile super app, which is currently under beta version, with beta trial version with limited, limited access. The pilot response has been successful and results have been very encouraging, registering a 700 plus growth on month on month during during the set quarter for the total healthcare services. We see huge potential in both of these services and we believe they would be a major contributor going forward and both these services have superior margin profile for the franchisee as well as the attractive offering and pricing for the end consumer. We have a strong football and brand presence in rural India and our customers trust with their day-to-day -day bank, day -day banking needs. During financial year 22, we opened close to 27 lakh bank accounts and did more than 6.9 crore banking transactions. While currently in essence, the Indian neo banking user base is expected to grow fast at 80% plus yearly over the next five years. There is a huge underpenetrated rural market with huge retail and MSME customer base. Further, there is a lack of trust within the current rural customer base. Therefore, physical presence and assistance is key differentiator. Going forward, we are well structured to transition into a new bank as we plan to launch new banking services through our Bharat EG mobile super app platform. Through this, we are focused to evolve into a unique online to offline platform whereby there would be assistance available through the physical camera network along with the digital new banking services. Further, we have a strong existing retail customer base in rural India and we are focused on affordable pricing and unique online to offline consumer experience. With respect to the proposed demerger of the non-core business of e-governance and IT-ITS as a separate entity, we would like to update that we have received an approval for demerger from Stock Exchange and have now filed an application to NCLT for approval. We believe the proposed merger would unlock the potential of the core Vakrangi Kendra business in the current listed entity with existing business of Vakrangi Kendra physical outlet as well as a digital platform of, of Bharat EG Mobile Super App. Vakrangi Kendra business is a retail-centric consumer-facing business. It is an assets light, high return on capital business and thereby will get the proper representation was the demerger. We believe this would lead to significant re-rating of the core business and would maximize shareholders' wealth. 
Over the last few years, we have undergone a huge transformational journey whereby we have made a transition from non-exclusive store in store format outlet to highly recognizable standardized exclusive branded next gen format outlet. We believe we are now well poised and have a clear visibility for a strong growth journey in the next few years to come. We have aligned our strategy with one of the existing service partners to expand our presence across the country in every gram panchayat level. This would fast pace our strategy and we plan to capture market to achieve our long term target well ahead of targeted timeline through launching additional franchisee incentive schemes by reinvesting cash flow, which would lead to quick payback for them as well as a drive strong franchisee interest. Further, aggressive marketing on Pan India basis, which would result into a higher lead funnel for franchisee acquisition process. Although near term profitability may get impacted, as we reinvest our operational cash flow for enhancing franchisee incentive and increase our marketing spend. However, these strategy initiatives shall lead to significant growth in profitability in the long run. We plan to achieve our long term outlet expansion target of 75,000 outlets, next gen outlets within the next 12 to 18 months. Commenting on the quarterly and full year result performance, we have witnessed a strong financial and operational growth on year-on-year -year basis due to increase in numbers of outlets as well as our service return to normalcy on the business front as e-commerce, online healthcare, and other financial services have become operational. Our results have been flat on quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis due to seasonality, seasonality factor as last quarter included the festive period. <coughs> Our revenue from operation stood at 208.81 crore, year-on-year -year growth of 105.02%, EBITDA stood at 42.05 crore, year-on-year -year growth at 41.76%, and PET stood at 30.12 crore, year-on-year growth is 44.87%. Our quarterly gross transition value, GTV gross rupees, 12,660 crores, whereas our quarterly number of transactions crossed 3.29 crores. <clears throat> our full year revenue for operational stood at 778.69 crores in financial year 2021, as against the 314.29 crores for the corresponding last year, registering a growth of 147.76%. Full year EBITDA stood at 158.69 crore, registering a growth of 62.54%. PET stood at 109.52 crore, registering a growth of 74.43%. Our full year GTV growth transition value closed rupees 47,000 crore and total number of transition closed 12.8 crores. We have recently launched a mobile super app best business platform, Bharat Easy App, India Ka Super App. It is currently a beta trial version and we intend to go fully operational live in the next 8 to 12 months. We have made live and activated some of the key services like online shopping, telemedicine services, online demat account opening, civil credit score rating services, as well as online pen card application services. A unique differentiator and sustainable competitive advantage is whereby our digital super app platform would be able to leverage the Vakrangi on-ground ecosystem, a vast well-diversified pan-India level physical store network of Vakrangi is a point of physical assistance especially to consumer to, to semi-urban and rural remote locations. A unique proposition of digital along with physical, physical would help the digital channel to scale up fast and would significantly reduce the cost related to acquiring customers, physical assistance, order fulfilling, and return management of online orders. Further, leveraging physical presence would result into better customer interaction, strong brand recall, and better service experience and trust for the customer. It gave me immense pleasure to say that in 20, uh, 2022, Wakangi has been recognized by the Sustainalytics as an ESG Global 
50 top rated company. Vakrangi Limited has been identified as a top ESG performer out of more than 4,000 comprehensive companies that sustainability cover in the global universe. Vakrangi Limited has also been honored to be included in this year's Sustainability Yearbook 2022 published by SNP Global. Vakrangi has earned SNP Global Bronze Class Sport in the yearbook in the Corporate Sustainability Assessment Survey. The Sustainability Yearbook 2022 published by SNP Global is one of the world most comprehensive publications providing in-depth analysis on corporate responsibility. This annual ranking showcases the sustainability performance of the world's largest companies in each industry as determined by their score in the annual corporate sustainability assessment. In 2022, SNP Global has assessed over 7,500 companies across 61 industries this year. Global recognition reflects company commitment to further enhance its corporate governance and transparency standards. Company has achieved global recognition across various platforms for its super, superior ESG performance and long-term business sustainability. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our shareholders for their support. We can now open the floor for question and answer session. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to withdraw yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. A reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. Reminded to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to ensure that the management is able to address questions from all participants in the conference, please limit your questions to one per participant. Should you have a follow-up question, we would request you to rejoin the question queue. First question is from the line of Vikas Nahar from Overseas Incorporation. Please go ahead. Congratulations, sir, for the very good results. I'm very heartening to, that, to know that you have fast-tracked the growth, taken up several steps towards the enhanced goal. And uh, congratulations for finalizing the expansion to every gram panchayat and pre the 75,000 Kendra target. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my questions are, uh, how confident are you to achieve the 75,000 next-gen outlets within the next 12 to 18 months, and what steps are being taken to achieve this target? And there are over 2,50,000 uh, 2 gram panchayats in India. Are you planning to put up 2,50,000 next-gen outlets? If yes, please share year-on-year -year target. Who is this existing service provider company? whom we have aligned with, what support this service provider will extend to Vakrangi? That's all, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Vikas, uh, for the uh, question. So, uh, uh, if you see, basically, so, uh, with respect to the 75,000 outlets, what uh, key initiatives we are taking in order to ensure that we are able to achieve this number over the next 12 to 18 months? There are two major initiatives uh, which we have uh, taken is one is basically we are uh, almost uh, stepping up our marketing spend so we are getting aggressive in terms of our marketing from a 360 degree perspective so we are doing the complete uh, digital marketing as well as on ground uh, field level uh, marketing initiatives also so that we get a good amount of funnel of uh, franchisee applications in place which is already very encouraging we are currently having almost uh, uh, more than uh, uh, 1 lakh plus applications in the panel right now where, which we are where, uh, evaluating uh, but if you see typically a success rate of uh, 
uh, finding a franchise is typically around 20 to 30%. So uh, for that you need at least uh, uh, for 75,000 you will need at least 3 lakh to 4 lakh uh, kind of applications in the funnel in order to ensure that you are able to get 75,000 kind of franchisee to be finalized. So our goal is to first uh, beef up the funnel so that our evaluation process becomes easier. Uh, second thing what we are doing in order to create a positive word of mouth as well as uh, uh, on ground uh, positive environment among the franchisee community because there is lot of referral uh, thing that comes into work here. So uh, what we are doing is we are also uh, increasing the RNR, the reward and recognition incentive schemes for our franchisees. And that is where uh, we said that uh, we will use our uh, uh, cash flows in order to increase the incentive specifically in the current year so that uh, there is a good amount of uh, uh, strong word of mouth publicity at the uh, field level. At the same time, uh, my franchisees are able to witness a very quick payback because that encourages, that creates a lot of uh, uh, referral uh, network in place. So from that perspective, we are doing that and we believe that uh, uh, using this increased incentive, we will be able to get a lot of uh, support in terms of new franchisee acquisition. At the same time, our uh, existing franchisee network will be uh, profitable at a much faster pace and their payback period, normally the payback period as we have explained earlier also, our typical payback period is like 18 to 24 months, but with the enhanced incentive structures, maybe the payback period can be reduced to 6 months to 12 months uh, for the initial period so that uh, it creates huge amount of uh, uh, positive vibe and the positive environment for the franchisees. So that will that will uh, that is a kind of a, a cycle that starts because there is a strong word of mouth, there is a huge amount of marketing in place. You get a good funnel, and from the funnel, basically, you are able to set up more and more outlets. So that is that is the uh, work in progress which we are taking. At the same time, uh, at our end, we are beefing up our uh, uh, sales team. So uh, uh, we have specifically. Uh, taken uh, uh, field level activities. We are uh, right now also in uh, almost. Uh, 51 districts are campaigns are going on uh, going on right now so we are doing lot of field level marketing as well as digital level marketing and at the same time we are building up our sales team at the ho level which is the centralized ho level where uh, uh, all the applications all the things coming and that is where my uh, relationship manager or the sales manager explains them the business model gets them onboarded then we do a basic kyc check and accordingly we shortlist them so that is the process. So it's a complete cycle which we are focusing on. So we are doing more marketing in order to generate more leads. We are doing uh, better incentive sharing so that uh, the word of mouth or the uh, referral network comes into play. My existing franchisee network is uh, payback is reduced uh, in the current cycle and that, that creates a better uh, cycle effect, cyclical effect. And third is beefing up my own sales team and my uh, field team in order to ensure that I am able to uh, convert those leads and do the KYC check uh, at the earliest so that we can have this kind of infrastructure in place to manage this amount of uh, leads. So that is where uh, we are working right now. Uh, what gives us the confidence is the kind of uh, response that we are getting to the campaigns right now is very encouraging and we feel that uh, uh, setting up these uh, 75,000 outlets out of which 22,000 outlets are already in place. So that is uh, we get to another 50,000 stores in the next 12 to 18 months. That is where uh, it purely depends on the amount of leads you generate, the amount of uh, uh, positiveness you generate in the overall environment due to which you get a good uh, referral check and that is where the people convert in. So that is where we are working uh, on right now. Uh, with respect to the second question, uh, how we are aligned with our existing service partner. So who is this service partner? I think so at the right time we will share uh, once the uh, uh, complete uh, formal announcement is done. That is what we would like to share. Uh, it is not right on our part to uh, disclose it uh, as it is not yet made public. So uh, I would refrain from doing that. But uh, what synergies we have, we have lot of synergies because uh, one thing is definitely we get their entire network uh, to support us. So it is again, uh, they have a uh, complete uh, field team till the district level that helps us to get uh, uh, support at the local level. At the same time, we also get access to lot of captive business. 
So a lot of captive business can also happen at the Vakrangi Kendra outlet because there we become an extension counter to our uh, service partner. So it's a mutually beneficial uh, thing for them. We are giving them access. We are giving them presence uh, uh, to a wider reach of audience. Uh, whereas uh, what we get in return is the access to their captive businesses and some ground support at least at the district level locations because uh, typically they have typically there are 760 740 districts in the country so they have district level offices or regional level offices which uh, help us uh, do the uh, uh, basic support that we get at from their uh, side so it's a it's a mutual uh, synergy for both the partners uh, for us as well as the uh, counter party so that is that is where uh, uh, we are working together and i think so at the right time we will disclose the uh, partner names uh, as we do a formal announcement uh, in sync so i think so uh, these were the queries and any one more last question you had any thing which i missed uh, these uh, really sounds like a good plan and uh, we're really looking forward to that and uh, and I would like to add one more thing. Uh, you can uh, look into a burger. The company has a similar planning. McDonald's Burger has a similar planning, yes. wherein the existing franchise, franchisee themselves develop the new franchises, and they are getting some benefit out of the new franchises. Yes, yes, look yes. Into so their, Yes, yes, so we have also introduced the master franchisee schemes also. So uh, I would also like to throw some light. So we have already uh, got uh, 10 master fr franchisees onboarded. So typically my master franchisee is the one who is typically uh, getting at the local level where at the uh, different uh, uh, gram panchayat level he is able to appoint a franchisee as per my requirements and basically we have an arrangement with them. So we also have this master franchisee concept which we have started just uh, uh, a quarter back. So basically it's, it's the second quarter running now. So there also we foresee that the good amount of interest is there. And actually we are uh, doing a lot of B2B meetings also from that perspective in order to build a master franchisee network also in place. Okay. That's great and we are looking very excited the way the plans and the kind of target that you are giving it. And we only wish and hope and uh, our best wishes that you achieve this target as per your time schedule. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. Participants, to ask a question, you may press star and one. As there are no further questions from the participants, I now hand the conference over to Mr. Amit Sabarwal from Vakrangi for closing comments. Uh, thank you, everyone, for taking time out and attending our uh, Q4 and full year results concon. Uh, please feel free to get in touch with us in case you have any queries or uh, uh, any details uh, required from our site. Uh, my email id is uh, amit s at the rate a -M -M -E -T -S at the rate vakrangi dot in uh, as well as uh, our contact details are available on the website uh, the presentations and everything is available there but in case you have any further queries please feel free to write to us thank you thank you everyone thank you ladies and gentlemen on behalf of vakrangi that concludes this conference call thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect